Well, I think for a number of years, uh, going back to the outbreak of the Syrian civil war in 2011, the United States and Turkey have had a dialogue of the deaf. Uh, we have to have a much more serious strategic conversation that talks about what uh, Turkey's interests are, what U.S. interests are, uh, very frank, private conversation, and then uh, work towards ways that allow um, both sides to meet their minimum uh, minimum, if not maximum, goals. Uh, for instance, uh, the Turks say that they would like us to stop supporting uh, the YPG, but in my view, uh, it's in Turkey's interest for the United States to continue to be involved with the YPG in order to act as a restraining force uh, in northeastern Syria. And I think uh, a frank conversation, I think we can make, uh, make Turkey understand that that's actually in their interest, not just something that's in our interest. Um, clearly, they, you know, Turks have concerns uh, along their border. Syria is uh, their neighbor. They have uh, three million Syrian refugees hosted on Turkish territory, which is a huge burden for them to bear. Uh, they clearly have important interests at stake, too. We ought to try to understand those better uh, and accommodate them the best we can. But that can only happen when we have a frank conversation and are not talking past one another as we have been for so much of the last five or six years.